Okay, that's gone. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here and welcome to another episode of Tech Tuesday where every Tuesday we get together, we talk about some new, exciting or just different technology in the FPV drone racing world and trust me today, you guys are going to absolutely love it. Now look, I know I've got something hot when I do my video, I do my intro and then we sort of review the product, all that sort of stuff. I've already gone out and I've tested these. I love these so much that I had to come back and do this intro because these things are absolutely amazing. Now what we're talking about, these are the Sam Gork, or I don't know exactly how to pronounce that but the Sam Guck DYS motors I'll link them all down below and essentially these are the best cheap motors I have ever seen they totally knock my socks off these things have performance to boot so what we're going to be doing we're going to be sticking them on the bench sort of having a quick squeeze and then the exciting part we're going to take them around fly them and I'm going to show you just how fast these can go now the reason I'm excited because traditionally motors can be really really expensive on your builds these bad boys they're coming in at under ten dollars which is absolutely crazy and I think for the price to performance I've never seen anything so good so if you're out there you're looking to build a drone or maybe you want to upgrade some motors or just get some crazy good performance but you don't have to pay through the nose definitely check these out because you guys are gonna love them anyway let's quickly stick them on the bench have a squeeze and then go out and fly them around all right let's do it alrighty so here they are on the bench for the bench breakdown before we go out and do the exciting stuff rip it around in the field and trust me you guys are gonna be absolutely amazed but what we have we've got a few different versions and look I'm gonna try and pronounce the names correctly the wheeze, the woos, the shoes, it all sort of rhymes, but essentially we've got three different styles of motors, so let's quickly rattle them off. I'm gonna get this one out of the way first. So this is the Woo motor, it's a 2206. It comes with a few different options, so 2400 kV or 2700 kV. So uh, this is what the one I'm a fan of. We'll be talking about that one in a little bit. We've got the other two motors, so this one's the Woo. It's a little bit bigger, it's a 2207, so the state is a little bit taller, and that comes in two options, 2300 or uh, 2600. I'll link all these down below as well. And then this is one of the bigger bad boys. This one I think is going to pump out a ton of thrust. It's a shoot. It's a 2306 and that one's actually got three different KV. So a lower like 22, then it jumps up to a 2500 KV and a 2800 KV. So this one I think is going to offer the most thrust, but it's also going to, you know, suck down the most amps. Now if I quickly, let's stick one of these on the scales. Okie dokie. So that one's coming in at 35 grams. The red one's coming in at 35 grams as well. And this one, it's a little bit lighter. I think it's about 30 grams. I can't really weigh that because I already stuck that on my quad. Now look, I'm going to put this one to the side. We're just going to talk about the woo, the wee, whatever. We're just going to talk about this blue one. There we go, the dark blue one, because, you know, there's some similarities between all the motors. They're all naked bottoms. So, and what I mean by that is you can see they don't have the bottom, like, bell clip or anything like that. All we sort of have is this little naked part on the bottom where it's attached to our shaft and those sorts of things. So we've got a bit of a free-spinning bell. On the top, we've got, you can see, our 5 millimeter hollow shaft and something that, you know, it's got a C-clip on the bottom. One part to note out, too, in all of these, we've got flat magnets. And look, that's not as good as some of the curved magnets, the really, really high quality motors. They usually have a curved magnet in there, which offers a little bit more thrust and better efficiency, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so this one's just got some straight magnets, but I mean, you can't complain too much. They're only 10 bucks. And when you see the performance, you're gonna think, well, does that even matter? Cause these things absolutely rip. You can see on the top, look, we've got some different bell designs. I don't think any of them offer any cooling or anything like that. So there's nothing special. They do look pretty, and uh, but I don't know if there's any special cooling designs or anything like that going into it. So look, I don't know how they're going to hold up in terms of efficiency. I'm not expecting them to be the most efficient motors out there, but uh, for the price, again, you can't complain because traditionally we're using things like race star motors, which look, uh, I think some people were hit and miss. I really like them because of their price, but this thing, this absolutely blows the uh, racer star out of the water. Even though they're a little bit more expensive, the quality of these things is much, much higher and uh, they offer a lot lot more thrust. Now a good question to answer is who are these motors aimed at? And I'm not saying they're better than Brother Hobby or some of those high power Emax ones, all that sort of stuff. What these are, you know, DYS is a pretty good brand, but what these are, these are just some cheap budget motors that finally we have an option that absolutely kicks butt, has great performance and has an absolute stellar price. So look, I'm not saying they're the best of the best or anything like that. Don't take the right, that the wrong way. What I'm saying is for the price, I mean under $10 when you compare that, I don't know how much a hype train motor is or something like that, but when you compare it, you know, if you can get two motors or two and a half motors versus one other, I'm going to pick the budget version every time. And I think it's going to help a lot of pilots out there. Whether you're just a new builder and you want to come in and you don't have heaps of money to spend to find out, is this hobby going to be right for you? Or maybe you're someone out there and you're sick of breaking expensive motors, having, you know, and it's hard to replace them all the time. And uh, having an option that's cheap to replace is an absolute godsend. I'm expecting these to make some huge 
huge waves in the industry because trust me, if this is the standard we can get for this price, I think a lot of things are gonna change in the future, which is great for us pilots. Now the only thing I can't really cover in this Tech Tuesday is how well are these gonna hold up in crashes because I don't know how they can make these so cheap. So I don't know what quality control is gonna be like. All mine were absolutely flawless. I'm a massive fan of them. But uh, you know, in some hard crashes, is this is the bell gonna break a little bit more? All that sort of stuff. How robust are they gonna be in some heavy crashes? So that's the only thing that I'm gonna say, you know, puts a bit of a question mark over these in the long run. But in the short term, let me tell you, I put them on this, this is my $99 build, you know, and I thought, well, what better quad to put some little upgrade motors on because this thing's, it's all about being cheap. What a better quad to put these on than this and this thing, it absolutely rips. That's why I had to come back here and refilm this because I was totally blown away at just how well these motors went on this thing. So this is what I want to do now. These are the Woo versions that we're going to see flying around. Let's cut out to the field, rip it around, and trust me, strap yourself in because you guys aren't going to believe just how fast this little bad boy goes with some upgrade motors. It is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, so let's cut out to the field and see these things rip around in three, two, one. Radio out here in the field about to rip it around with his really cheap, possibly a game changer changing motor, so we'll rip it around, see how they go, we'll hand it over to Grumpy Trev, crash test Cal, and then we'll hit it with the speed gun, and see, are these cheap motors worth it, do they perform, or are they, are they a bit of a letdown? All right, let's do it. Alrighty, so here we go, on board, and I think uh, this is with the 2700 KV, this is the light blue one, so I think they're the 2206s, but something that's really important, this is on my $99 build, so in a moment when we sort of drop the hammer, we get used to this quad, there's another pilot just there on the course, we're gonna be flying around, and you're going to see just what these motors can do on an absolute bare budget base build. And I think this thing, it's not even on, I think it's like on beta flight 2.8 or something. It's been a while, but when I put this on here, it was still an absolute dream to fly. So it goes to show you, you don't need to spend top dollar to get some crazy performance. Now the actual flight itself, let's talk about it. These motors, they've got power to boot. I mean, look at this. It is just screaming up the hill. There is so much power and I honestly can't believe just how cheap these motors are for how well they perform. For most pilots out there, I'm gonna say, you're probably not gonna be pushing this thing to max anyway. It's got more speed. I mean, look at that. Just a couple of seconds and that thing is just punched up to the moon. This thing has thrust to boot and I am a massive fan and I'm so happy as well because look, this is what our community needs. This is what I want our hobby pilots, this is what I want our pilots to have. You can get a fantastic product at an unbelievable price. So I definitely think this thing is an absolute game changer. My hat goes off to you, DYS. You've done a great job with these motors. Now, of course, look, time will tell how they hold up in crashes. And I don't know if they're aluminium or aluminum, however you want to say it. I don't know if that's going to be as good as some of the more expensive brands or anything like that. But when it comes to replacing a motor for 10 bucks, it's very, very hard to go past this. I mean, look at this thing rip around. And I've got to stress, this is on a bare budget, like $99 build. So absolutely crazy. And it just goes to show how far our hobbies come. You don't need to drop a ton of cash to get some fantastic flight performance. And in terms of efficiency, I think they did pretty well as well. Like I was flying around, I was really giving it some stick. And this thing, uh, I didn't notice really, it was too amp hungry or anything like that. It performed really, really well. So I think these are going to be a fantastic cheap upgrade for a lot of people out there. Right here, yeah, that was pretty crazy. I mean, for the performance, the performance to price ratio, this is definitely a game changer. And I'm gonna see it hard for people to pay a lot more money in the future when you can get some pretty solid performance out of a 10 buck motor. Anyway, what we should do, let's hand it over to Grumpy Trev. He's in the background there changing some props. So we'll hand it over to him, see what he thinks about the performance of these and give it over to Crash Test Cal, and then we'll hit it with the speed gun. <laughs> Anyone got a left hand prop? <laughs> I must only break Left hand you saw this thing ripping around. What did you think? That's the $99 bill, but we just switched it out, put some of those cheap, I don't know how to pronounce the, the, the Samgak or something like that, the cheap DOIS motor, 10 bucks. How did it look like it performed? It looked bloody awesome, actually. Uh, I can't believe how well it was just screaming around as good as what you so, see you know, with uh, top price motors. They look good too. Yeah, they, they do look they, they do look pretty. They actually don't look cheap. I can't believe they're 10 bucks. So, and they've got like the naked bottoms and the, all those those sorts of things, so. Yeah, nothing like naked bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, what we should do, you wanna have a fly around and then uh, yeah, see what you think? Let's give it a go. What were you doing here? You're trying to find a prop? Yeah, I need a, I must only break props that go the wrong way. 10 buck motors, let's see how they go. Jeez, Gee. Got plenty of bunch. It's almost straight into a tree there, Trevor. Oh, yes. <laughs> F 10 buck, this is bullshit. They got plenty of punch. Oh. 
It's hard to believe how much punch these things have got. Yep. Look, I'm a convert already. It just handles all right, two foot at a time. Yeah, well, look, it's actually, for the $99 build, these would be a bloody great upgrade. These are great little motors. Look at that. Mate, it is screaming. That is bullshit. It's really hard to believe these are that cheap. I, I am really impressed. Jeez, it flies all right. This is that $99 build. That's it? correct. I'm not going to talk about it though, but geez, it does fly all right. These motors are great. Plenty of punch. It's very responsive. This is... Oh, you, you, you me, aren't you? This I'm is not, a, mate. We looked, it's like 10 US dollars or something like that. I can't believe it. This is going to upset a lot of people. <laughs> they are really good. Who would you recommend these for? Oh, shit, anyone. These are great. Yep. Look at that. They're so responsive, it's not funny. Like most of the ones you see, yeah, they go, yeah, they just run out of poke, and these does, things got plenty of punch. Does this feel like a cheap motor? Oh, shit, no. If you had it told me these were bloody uh, 30, 40 buck motors, no, no worries at all. They are really good. Very impressed. I guess the one part we can't really test too much is the durability. So whether they hold up too well in crashes and those sorts of things over the long term, yeah, that's, the, that's hard to sort of know. The, the look of the motors, though, they look pretty strong. We've had most motors recently that uh, on builds that are absolutely crap. You can't tell me they couldn't put these on there. Yeah, that's right. So you're thinking like the Fury B, the Fire Dancer or whatever, these yeah. would have been much better with these oh, motors yeah, on there. These, well, these ones work for starters. I mean, that's a big bonus. <laughs> But there's it, just so much looks, punch in these. It looks pretty smooth out there, actually. It's really nice to fly. It's still, it's uh, low battery now, but I've been giving it buggery. And... Come give us a little punch behind you, just behind us. Yeah, that's gone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> these are fun. All right, Jeez. no worries. I'm going to uh, let you finish that pack. All right, Trev, 10 buck motor. Final thoughts? <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. These are shit. They look strong, but you know, that's to be determined, but plenty of punch. These are amazing. Are they, they better know. than the Racer Star motors? You know those cheap ones? Oh yeah, 100 times better. And, All they, right. were, and they were good, like for a cheap motor, they were good, but All they right. were 20 bucks. So let's give this a uh, Grumpy Trev rating out of 10 for performance. Oh look, I'll give them an eight for yep. performance. Uh, they're up there with some of the good ones. Value for money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what about value for money? They're, they're a 10 plus, absolutely. They're really good value for money. Right. You can't go wrong with those. So you think DYS has done a good job? Oh, this job. Absolutely. All right, nice. Well Th done, DYS. All right, nice. Thanks, Trev. Yeah, CTC, what did you think when you saw that, that rip rinse? That's a $99 bill. What did you think when you saw that in the air? Um, like it was a regular premium quad, the motors weren't performing like anything cheap at all. Yeah, they were great. It, it fanged. Well, I, I don't, I can't really tell you much more without having a fly of it. Yeah. But um, look, they look great. They seem to be well made. I'm not sure how well they'll crash or how well they'll last. Look, they're probably using a cheaper grade aluminium, I think, rather than the 775, yep. which is fine, like the racer stars do. Uh huh. So how they'll ha hold up in a in a really hard crash is anyone's guess at this point. But look, the performance is there. There's no problem with that. The performance is definitely there. All right. Yeah, guys, should we uh, put a battery on and rip it around? Let's do it. Yeah. Alrighty, Cal. It's over there. Ready to rock and roll. Let's uh, arm it up. There you go. It's all you, brother. Okay, that's gone. <laughs> Punch out's good. Yep. Very rich power. It's good. Mate, that. That's going well. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with these motors. There's nothing wrong with the performance of these at all. What do they feel like in terms of other motors you've flown? Do they have any similarities between some other motors? It's hard to explain. They've got a certain quality I can't really explain. It's The power comes on very quick. It kind of feels raw. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. But um, I'm surprised at how well they go. No, look, they're as, as good as any Emax motor, I would say. But like I said, we'll see how it crashes. If it can uh, take a really hard crash or not, that'll be the test. And if they can, well, why would you get anything else? really so who would you recommend these to anyone that's just starting out um, or anyone that's got a quad that they just want to bash about a bit and they don't want to uh, risk expensive componentry for a budget build you couldn't do a better motor choice than these that's for sure and just for day-to-day -day racing if you're sick of replacing motors with $35 motors all the time then look at these because they perform the performance is there there's no doubt about it very surprising what about i've picked up your other quad here it's got some hyperlights on here how does it feel the performance between these hyperlights and those cheap motors what would you could you reckon you could tell the difference they feel a little bit different but um these are good these are good i could i'm liking these motors a lot in fact i'm going to put them in next cheap frame that i get i'm going to put a set of these motors on and and start running it around the track because i think uh, these are well worth it 
Alrighty, nice. Thanks, Cal. Give us like your uh, Cal's famous four words. What do you got? Uh, <laughs> you're killing me. Come on, you're what do you? Give me, give me four me. words to describe these motors. Good for uh, the bucks. <laughs> I would buy it. Cheap, good, well worth it. That's that's five, but you tried. Good job, Cal. Alrighty, so time for the speed gun challenge. How fast do you think this thing's gonna go? Those ten buck motors. How quick, Trev? Uh, Miles per hour, and we're not getting a range, you just got to say one number, mate. None of this variable, oh, between here and here. What do you think? One number. Uh, somewhere between. No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? I reckon this thing will do 88. 88? Cal? Yeah. 85 and 90. No, no, come on, mate, you got to give us a, one number. Look, if it had a. Cal, one number. One brain. number. All right. Let's say 90. 90, 88, 90, I'll go 85. Alrighty, so let's check it out. So there's goes. You ready to suit up? Suit up. Well, let me put my bra on. <laughs> Your safety strap. That's safety first on UAV Futures, mate. Chin bra. Alrighty, <laughs> you got your shield, you feeling safe? Semi safe. Alright, let's do it. I'll give you the speed gun. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do it. Where do you want to go? That end or down there? Alright guys, I'm doing the death march. Radar gun. Speed point. Could be my last day on earth. In an hour's time I could be on a surgery table having pieces of quad removed from my face. I reckon it's going to go quite fast. The way I felt when I was flying. It's just a kind of a crappy old frame that it's in and it's not the most aerodynamic frame that's for sure. But man, that thing was hauling ass. I gotta say. It hauls ass. They're good motors, 2700 kV. Boy, I can't speak to the efficiency though. Well, it's going to be going faster than 85, I reckon, for sure. And it could, I reckon, between 85 and 95. Now, Stewie's not here putting pressure on me about how fast I think it can go. I can say what I want. I reckon it's going to do 85 to 95. We're in a pretty uh, wind protected little basin here, so wind doesn't play a big part in these speed tests, especially when we're when we're at this location. Oh, they're sending me right out. Nothing significant at all. All right, so I'll get about here, I think. All right, we're good. Let's get it on. All right, here it goes. 81. 81, that's not bad for a first run. All right, here we go, here we go. 83. 87. Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh! What's he doing? Oh! He's harassing me. This is not part of the contract. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Yes! Victorious. Oh. Double banger. It's dead now. Oh. Alrighty, so there it is. That was my Tech Tuesday, I guess. Quick look at the Sam Gook DYS motors and overall, I'm, I'm totally blown away. These are the best cheap motor I have ever seen. Now look, are they better than some of the expensive ones? Things like Brother Hobby, all those really, really expensive ones, I'm gonna say no, but those things can be up to like $20, $30. I know like even like the Hype Train motors, some of those motors out there cost an absolute fortune and for the $10 price, Nobody can go wrong with a set of these. So if you're just getting into the hobby, you want to build something and maybe you've got some like racer star motors which look used to be cheap and offered okay performance. These things offer fantastic performance at an absolutely unbeatable price. I couldn't believe just how much performance they offered. Go and check those links below. I mean for under $10, I hope they stay at that price point because that's absolutely crazy. And that is hopefully going to mean in the future for us consumers, us pilots out there, when we're buying our stuff, we've got access to cheap motors and it might even influence some of those more expensive motors brands out there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Or drop those comments down below. What do you think about the DYS Samgook motors? Are they going to be right for you? You know, what do you think about the performance that they offered? And I'd say too, for anybody else, if you're just jumping into the hobby, jump over and see our Discord. I'll put a link down below as well because there's so many pilots signing up. It's a great way to share information, get help, and just talk about all things FPV related in real time. Anyway, that's enough rambling for me. Subscribe for more FPV related content. And as always, happy flying.